as I've grown up, domestic abuse was that your husband, your partner, your wife hit you. Um, it was physical, not mental. Um, so I didn't believe it to be domestic abuse. Yes, he'd um, hide the car keys, hide my passport, hide all documents, money documents, bank books, so I couldn't go to the building society and draw money out. Constantly ask me where I was going and who I was meeting, and it takes its toll after, you know, a while. The mental abuse went on for probably a year almost. But then um, the physical abuse, uh, it started quite quickly and up until obviously uh, there was a big incident. It was a normal day as you know any other. Uh, we took, I took the children to school, you know, come to school picking up, went to pick them up. Kevin was convinced I was going somewhere else, wanted to come with me. The school's five minutes away. We had a bit of um, a, dis a heated discussion about why, you know, if I can't go and fetch the children five minutes, we'll be back in 10 minutes. But he was insistent that he came. Uh, we drove through the village into a field, that the land that we farm, and um, Kevin hit me with an ax on my head. He just kept saying that, I know you're leaving me, but you're not, not now. All I wanted to do was get the ax off him. Uh, so we had a bit of a scuffle. I actually managed to get the ax out of his hand and because of the time of year it was, it, we was in a mowing grass field. So I just launched the ax behind me knowing it would be harder to find it in the long grass uh, and then Kevin floored me um, and tried to strangle me. Sounds a bit strange but his eyes weren't really focusing and not all I could think about was being okay for the children. I've got to get out of this situation so I was trying to reassure Kevin telling him that don't be silly I love you all the while this was going on, I actually managed to get his hands from around my neck and then Kevin sort of changed like he'd realised what he'd done and just got up, walked off to the car and drove off. The car stopped um, at the side of the road and I asked for help. I asked to be taken back up into the village for my children, um, but obviously I didn't realise what I actually looked like. There was blood everywhere. I told the driver that my husband had tried to kill me and he took me to a workplace where there was first aiders. It's, I think, one of the hardest things I've ever had to do is tell my children. To tell your child that, um, that, that the dad has passed away, but to tell your children hows and whys is very hard because all you want to do is protect them. You know, obviously myself, I thought, well, you know, people will talk about you behind your back. They'll. Um, you know, gossip about you, yeah, uh, who do you trust enough to tell? And like I say, unfortunately, it isn't until something does happen that you do realise that the sport was always there. Mm -hmm. It's the easiest thing to do, to talk. It, it's hard to know that it's okay to. You know, I wish I had. Things might have been different. Mm -hmm.